Hello and welcome to Ivory Blush Roses. Today I'm going to use the basic crazy quilt blocks I made in an earlier video to make a small doll quilt. Originally I hoped to make a lap quilt, but there wasn't enough of the bird fabric to make the number of blocks required. Instead, I turned the blocks into a nice little nine patch quilt that's perfect for a doll. The first step was to iron the blocks. I laid a terry cloth towel on my ironing board and laid the blocks face down. This prevents the embroidery from being ironed flat and keeps it sitting high on the fabric. Next, I trimmed the blocks to six and a half inches square using a template of that size. This allows a scant quarter inch seam on each side. Then it was time to decide on an arrangement. Choosing background fabrics was hard. I loved the bright yellow floral that I had used in each of the blocks, but I thought it took the focus away from the crazy quilted blocks. In hindsight, I wish I had used this fabric as it was much more cheerful. Then I tried a blue and green batik, but it was a little too intense even though it picked up the colors in the blocks. Next was one of the green fabrics that I used in the blocks. Because this fabric occurred on the edge of several of the blocks, it all ran oddly together. I tried a blue floral, and while the colors were close, it was far too busy. A pale green washed everything out. A bolder green print had too much pattern. Then I tried a marbled green and off-white fabric. It picked up the colors in the blocks without overwhelming them. It was a bit quiet, so I wanted to brighten it up with a brighter frame. The bright blue and green fabric pulled everything together. I then decided to use the yellow floral as the binding. The combination of the three brought the quilt to life. I needed four blocks of the marbled green fabric. It had a pretty distinct pattern, so I took care when cutting them out to get similar ones with a mix of both colors in them. Next, I needed to sew the blocks together. Because the Crazy Quilt blocks are fairly heavy with multiple layers of fabric and embroidery, I backed the marbled green blocks with a layer of muslin to make them roughly the same weight as the Crazy Quilt blocks. Otherwise, the different weights cause them to shift and they don't look as nice when they're pieced together. I pinned the blocks and sewed them together using my scant quarter inch foot on my sewing machine. I sewed the blocks together by row, pinning and using my scant quarter inch foot on my sewing machine. Once each of the rows are sewn, it's time to press the seams. I pressed the seams on the top and bottom row to the right and the seams on the middle row to the left. This allowed the seams to nest together without bulk at the corners once they're sewn together. I pinned the corners together so that the seams nested nicely and then pinned the ends. and then I sewed the rows together using the same scant quarter inch foot. Once the rows were stitched together, I pressed those seams open. Those corners look great. The outer border was next. Like the marbled green blocks, I backed the blue and green sashing with muslin. I sewed the sashing on pinwheel style, meaning that one strip overlapped the other at each corner. Music 
I had to go back at the end and attach the last corner properly. Then I trimmed off the ends using my square template and rotary cutter. I discovered in the past that if I trimmed these ends with scissors, they weren't square and made my quilts look wonky. Then it was time to measure those sashing pieces and make sure that they were even all the way out because no matter how hard you try, there's always a little bit of variation. So I made sure that they were an even, I believe an inch and a half all the way. And so there was just a tiny bit of trimming to do to square that up. And it really made a difference in making the finished quilt look nice and square. I wanted to back the quilt and do a self binding with the yellow floral fabric, but discovered that the piece I had was not large enough. I played with other fabrics, but I kept coming back to that yellow. The pink was okay, but I didn't like it as well, and it didn't seem to go with the quilt. I tried a different yellow fabric, but it didn't seem as nice to me. It all blended together a little bit too much. I did have some of the marbled green fabric left, but it wasn't large enough to make the entire back. I decided to add a strip of the yellow floral down the center and then made binding out of the rest of it. It turned out fine and I'm so pleased with that yellow floral binding. I think the grandkids will love using this little quilt with the baby doll that I keep at the house for them to play with. Mushu the kitty had fun with the quilt too while I was taking photos. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I put together these simple little crazy quilt blocks into a fun little doll quilt. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Click on the bell to be notified of new episodes and give this video a thumbs up. Have a great day and I will see you in the next video.